What's up guys? Captain Ryan here, East Shore Sport. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want to see more of what I do, go to eastshoresportfishing.com and you can see all the charter pictures, everything you guys want. We are located in the tip of the thumb in Michigan and we just have a really, really good time. So today we are making venison euros <coughs> and I've already seasoned it up and I've seasoned it with Cavender's Greek seasoning. It is delicious. It's a little lemony, little Greekish. It's, it just tastes great. So right now, I'm going to put some oil in the pan. Put these steaks down. There you go. I want to cook it about medium. I believe venison is like 145 ish. But you want a little pink in the middle so it doesn't get rough, so it doesn't get, uh, you know, too tough, too. It doesn't want to go on the gamey side. But uh, when we get back, you guys are going to watch a video. I did not get the kill shot on tape because it was way too late when I did that. Um, but we got. Some video of it's funny there's a giant compost pile where we hunt and the deer just they come out of the woods they climb up and down the compost pile we watch them and it is hilarious watch this video just two minutes when we get back i will show you how to make the additional stuff that goes with this plus the amazing flatbread that they have that i get from uh um, i'll show you right now this it's pita bread, but it is Joseph's heart friendly, and it is super soft and pliable, and it's made with, I believe, uh, flaxseed oils or flaxseed, something like that. But it is awesome, really, really good, real soft, real tender. Um, when we get back, I will show you how to make the rest of it. Okay guys, these are just about done. They just have to rest for about five, six minutes. And leave that in the pan. But turn it off because you're gonna slice these when they're rested, add it back to the pan, toss a little bit, with all the flavors and everything else. These are being browned, <coughs> so not boring. And now on to tzatziki sauce. So tzatziki sauce is, um, it's hard to say, tzatziki sauce is uh, about a cup, cup and a half of plain yogurt, and then we go through, and you get about a quarter cup of curly parsley. I think it's a little stronger than Italian parsley, but curly parsley, um, this one gets, it's a little garlic heavy because it's delicious, this one gets minced garlic, two cloves. Put that in. And then you get about a third of a regular size cucumber that gets uh, we go. grated. Just like that. Just straight on there. And you start to stir. And don't forget to turn pita bread. And so this is thick now, but you have 
plain white vinegar. And you want to add about three tablespoons and stir some more. And then you have to cheese. Actually, pretty, pretty good. So then, salt and pepper to taste. This one I use kosher salt. My mother-in-law up here uses Mediterranean fine sea salt. So, a little bit of salt. That vinegar already gives it like that acidness. And the garlic, it's heavy garlic. It is like a burning garlic. It's delicious. So while you're doing this steps and the next one, this rests because it's under pressure because it's so hot. So when you let it rest, it comes back down to temperature a little bit less and all the juices stay in it. So when you cut it, you're still going to get juice out of it, but it's going to still be juicy and just delicious. <clears throat> so that is done. next one is, this is one lemon, almost DC, there's a couple of floating in there. One lemon squeeze inside here. Oop, hold on. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what that is done, shut this off. Now, we get to the tomato, onion, garlic. This is killer. So you take one half of a large red onion. Then we have one garlic clove minced right here. I like garlic. It's a garlic heavy dish. And then this is four Roma tomatoes with the outside cut off and diced because I can't have seeds. I have the, the dreaded diverticulitis. <coughs> No seeds, nuts are okay, it's controversial. But that's that. Let's go in here. So remember you have lemon juice in there, you have that, you do salt and pepper. Pepper, salt. There you go. And then I use extra virgin olive oil. This is uh, my mother in law has it's a uh, olive oil for sautéing and grilling it so it's really light. You see that? So just drizzle that. Makes it look pretty and adds a little fat to it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to mix up real good because the garlic will get all over everything. It's very lemony, very greeky. Um, I don't know where to put it. That's that. And so then we have tzatziki. We have the tomatoes and onions. Number four romas. One half a big red. And this is resting for a few minutes. <coughs> what I do is cut it. You gotta see the pink this here. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm 
one more. And leave all the juices on this thing because it's very good. Like I said, it's lemony, a little salty. Okay. Put this down. Now back to the pan, like I said. The pan's just warm. Not hot. Meat didn't blow up totally. Toss this around a little bit. Inside of the extra spices that stuck to the bottom of the pan, whatever else. So then we go So that's nice and brown. Deer meat. I make this for my mother-in-law. She does not like deer meat that much. Even though I lived in her house for years and I killed how many deer. But she is a great lady. So let me go. It's not pico de gallo, it's a Greek garlicky tomato. Right there, tzatziki. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the kicker feta. Feta cheese is delicious on this. So I made this because I posted a picture of it on Facebook and people are like, what is the recipe? What is it? I said, would you want to see it on YouTube? Yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys make this. It is killer. These uh, pita flatbreads are from Walmart. Only place I can find them. They are delicious. But other than that, peace out.